Thank you very much, John, for your very kind words. Um, it's a, the honor is mine. It's a great pleasure and an honor to be here on this heavenly sun-blessed day to welcome the dial to Notre Dame. It's been quite a time in the making. Um, the commission came about originally with a phone call from Joe O'Neill. He had read an article in Smithsonian Magazine uh, describing the dial. The article was by uh, Davis O'Bell, who's quite a well-known author, and she's a good friend of mine. And Joe read this article and thought this would be a nice thing to have at Notre Dame, and uh, put me in touch with Doug Marsh, the university architect, and uh, he organized my first visit here. And it was at that first visit that we uh, began to, I began to learn a lot about Notre Dame, to see the designs of the buildings, the designs of the windows, the uh, great evidence of Gothic architecture here, and to, to get a real feel for the university and for its, um, its community. And that's very important in any kind of design because you want to put yourself in the environment uh, where you are and, and try and build the design around that. Um, the commission developed over the, the next six months or so and we thought we had it all tied up um, over in another building at the, uh, the, Bartolo, the Bartolo Center. And uh, then, um, very, with great um, luck really, uh, a number of things occurred and a new location here was chosen. And this, in fact, is an ideal location, as, as John has mentioned, because uh, we're right outside the Science Center, where hopefully it will be used for teaching, where students can come and observe the motions of the heavens, and um, where people can come and relax. And it's a great being very close to the football stadium. 